I'll be keeping an eye on you. Understand? If I choose to kill you, you will not even see it. Your kind will punish you for consorting with us. My name is Lazelk Chucky. And my kin will understand my need for servants. They will help you, but only if I ask. People up ahead. Something's wrong. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. Hurt badly. An owl bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do... I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Useless. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. She is a true soul. Mind her. She will. She. She. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're. You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. What? Are you... Are you testing us? A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice. Your words are her command. She grants you the power to enforce her will. And when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Please. Any supposed new god would have an uphill battle. I don't know any druids. We know that all too well, ma'am, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found, at any cost. You! Brenna! Kill her! Thank you. 
if this is worth the cost. No time for mercy. <laughs> You should search that corpse. Do you think your kin search for you, Razel? I know they do not. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value, something your mind craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. loosen. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again. Owlbear tracks. Its nest must be nearby. <clears throat> Nozelle, how would you punish someone who wronged you? Wrong me how? Oh, say, murder or theft? Killing is good. It calls the weak. But theft would be paid for painfully, a thousand times over. Hmm, good to know. Your sour face is tiring, Shy. 
Shadowheart. By all means, leave if I am so distasteful. I'd rather not turn my back on you, if it's all the same. Tell me, Lazo, when you say we might be purified at your crash, what does that mean exactly? Hmm, what's that? Strange. It looks healthy, but it's a dead boar. But it doesn't look like it's been touched by scavengers. Carcass seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. You notice two small puncture wounds in its neck. Looking closer, you can see the skin around its face is desiccated. It's been completely drained of blood. Ambush. That Zathisk you mentioned intrigues me. Care to tell me a bit more? Just out of it. An intricate device crafted by Milar, our most gifted artisans. I am swarming. Get over there! Surround them like! Oi! You just walked into the wrong town! Don't bother running! My archer's got decent aim and plenty of arrows. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. You're a true soul, but my mistake, sir. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. You'll get no more trouble from us. Promise! Yes, get caught. Tavki crush it. The tadpole lets us command the minds of others. An interesting development, but one to be treated with caution. For better or for worse. No. Our only cause is to deny it. This power is just another symptom of disease, and every use will sicken us further. My thoughts exactly. rattle the door. Then, a low moan. Someone, or something, is having a bit of fun. Go away!
beast fit for an ogre, you notice a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough, leathery meat. The dagger is tightly embedded in the carcass. You notice nothing unusual. Trained by your clumsy technique, the blade snaps in two. Sharp metal fragment pokes out of the meat. It's of no use to you. What is it like on the astral plane? Your home realm intrigues me. My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say. For your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> They do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Why, I never... You're paranoid, aren't you? Must be the surroundings. Rather bleak and lonesome. One feels so exposed. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There, middle of somewhere. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Fair enough. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Come now. Why play hard to get when you're in Deep over your tadpoled head. One skull, two tenants, 
and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. <laughs> Everything is for sale. And you do well to sell while your stock has value. In desperate times, the price of honor plummets. Perhaps you haven't yet realized how desperate these times are. You will. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg. Borrow and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. By all means, bite the hand that feeds you, while you still have teeth. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Something to all right through these people. In the astral plane. Thunder but you hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. The realization hits you. That stench wasn't the dead. You can sense that the hyena's very flesh is desecrated. Gnolls. Vicious, monstrous humanoids can spawn from the corpses of dying hyenas. starts to calm, to stop its wild contortions. She lies still. As the life fades from her eyes, the knoll within her dies too, stillborn.
strike. Let my name be known. <laughs> Nothing will stand in my way. Slow down. <laughs> Place is overrun with gnolls. Vile beasts. Nothing good is born from a corpse. Let's not stand around. I can smell spilled blood a mile. Spare me a moment, if you please. I've something important to discuss with you. We've been traveling together for a while now, and it's just about time that I shared something with you. It's a rather personal matter that I'd have preferred to keep quiet, but needs must when the devil drives. I have no choice but to speak. You see, I have this condition, very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. No, it cannot be cured. And I assure you, I've left no page unturned in reaching that conclusion. I can keep this condition under control, as indeed I've done for a significant amount of time, but that was under different circumstances altogether. Home and Waterdeep. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. I'll spare you the finer details, but it begins with a simple biological deterioration, muscle spasms, disorientation, a slight ringing in the ears, and, if left for too long, catastrophe. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted. It is time, and by that I mean it's imperative that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture. We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. Valid question. If not out of the simple goodness of your heart, then perhaps your own self-interest might be sufficient motivation. Having a wizard like me around is quite the boon when facing the perils that stalk these lands. It'd be far harder for me to assist you if I could barely stand upright. Please, trust me. Your help could be the difference between life and death. That's not going to work on me. Look, I appreciate your curiosity, but don't pursue this path. Let's agree on actions first and explanations later. Yes? As luck would have it, you're already primed to give me exactly what I need. I will consume the magic inside. What was a powerful artifact will be rendered no more than a trinket. But it will save my life, even if only temporarily.
perhaps I'm not conveying the urgency of the situation. It's incredibly, world-shatteringly important you give me a suitable artefact. Please. Of course. I would hate for you to think me impatient or ungrateful. I shall persevere for now. Quite exhausted. A good night's sleep would do me wonders. Do you feel as flattered as I do? Fight it to dine with a devil. <laughs> Believe me, that was a devil's equivalent of serenades and roses. Don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us. Badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. Our souls. But I suspect that's but his opening offer. Let me play the devil's advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. If there's one quality, all the denizens of the hells embody, it's ambition. Quality they share with many humans, come to think of it. By figuring out his true intentions. Fact one, there's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. Devils aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it, along with our tadpoles. So, I say for now, we wait. If I'm right, Raphael will seek us out again, and when he does, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his Cormirian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. Ugh. Oh. I'll have to speak slowly. I'm finding it quite difficult to concentrate with my condition gnawing at my insides like a teething displacer kitten. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be in the camp then, idling away the hours. This is the devil Will has been tasked to kill. Steady on, soldier. That's the stuff. Well, first. 
fuck me? It's you, from the Nautiloid. Please tell me I found you before those so-called paladins of Tyr did. Now that's a story, and I'll tell it to you, but truth be told, we shouldn't stay here too long. See, these paladins of... A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies. As you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The Blood War. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. Mountains as far as the eye can see. Guess that explains the voices. From that peak I got into your head, you've made some inroads trying to get the thing sorted. But alas, no joy. I'm Karlak. And you are... Well met, soldier. Now that we're old pals, how would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? A little background. If your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good at killing demons. Really good. So good, Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. It took me ten years to probably escape, but now I'm free. Zariel sent goon after goon to hunt me down. But believe me when I tell you, I'm not going. The latest yappy little dog she sicked on me are nearby. A group of dopes posing as paladins of tear. Wanna help me take them down? Fuck yes. They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. After we've mopped them up, we can work on evicting this parasite and take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? A warrior who winks at her foes while she slays them. You'd be a fool to refuse her. I'd hug you if it wouldn't scorch your skin off. you up of a fine day, won't it? I do not need awakening. My senses... 